You guys are so incredible. Uh, the Thank work you. that you do is incredible. It is also terrifying. Mm -hmm. um, crikey, uh, that we just saw a glimpse at, at season one, renewed for season two. Very, very exciting. Um, one of the things that we saw, one, that we kind of pick up at the end, or we leave off at the end of the video, was that you caught, there was a croc mm. in the trap. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Robert, Ooh. You, <laughs> your reaction and my reaction to that are two totally different reactions. Uh, what does happen next, though, when, when yeah. you see the croc? Yeah, well, I, I survive. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> like, no one gets eaten, first right. of all. I like to point that out. Um, but yeah, so the excitement that you feel when you get up to a trap like that, it's amazing, because you're in the most remote place in the world. You're miles away from Australia Zoo. This is crocs in the wild. Yeah. So when you've got one in the trap, it's just amazing. Now, as soon as we know we have a crocodile, mm -hmm. everything slows down, the whole process. We use the same techniques that, that our dad first started. He was incredible with crocodiles, like no, no one else on the planet. Mm -hmm. And so we use the same methods that he did. We call back into base, we get all the team there, there's like probably 15 of us that come to the trap site. Okay. And then we work on stringing the trap up, we get the crocodile using top jaw ropes out of the trap, and then once he's out, that's where the jump team comes in. So you've got. Uh, wait, 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 so imagine wait, 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 you're the croc here. Wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, the people the that are jump team. Exactly. Yes. I have a question before we move. Okay. It. Okay. How does? Is there an audition process for the jump team? Yes. Like, how does one become mm. a jumper? A jumper. A jumper. Yes, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a very good question. More importantly, yes. how does one avoid <laughs> becoming a member of the jump team? Yeah, well, it's, it's not as easy as just, like, jumping on it. There's a yeah. little bit more to it than that. Um, and uh, a lot of the, the, the zookeepers that we have at the zoo, they're the ones that are actually coming up with us on the reserve. And we've got some of the leading scientists, some of the best croc people. Uh, the, our team leader, Toby, was actually, he's here now, he was actually originally taught by dad and he's the croc guru. And so he really works to teach a lot of the team. We work alongside our team because what you actually have to do, jumping on a crocodile, it's you have to use force, you know, you have to hold them down, but you also have to be really respectful. We can't tranquilize a croc. Like, you can't just, like, dart them and then they fall asleep. Right. Because they're not a bear. Like, they don't metabolize that like a mammal would. Mm -hmm. They actually really would be pretty compromised if you did that. So oh, holding them down, it's really good for them. Once you hold them down, there's no stress on them at all. You do all the science, attach all the tracking devices, all of that and then away they go again. But basically what we do when we're jumping, so imagine if you're the croc here, uh -huh. like, we'll, we, yeah, so we, we line up, yeah, just, just like that, yeah, yeah, exactly. So everyone lines up and then you kind of, the team leader will say, okay, you've at got to At the front jump. of the croc? At the, at the front, usually we go from the back, like that, like that. And then you just go jump on the crocodile and kind of want to hold the jaws together, like that. There we go, and then you hold them down, and then that's it. That was very good. And then that's it, he said. There you go. It's as simple as that. Toby? Uh, <laughs> I just feel like you and the jump team. Y'all deserve that for sure, right? I mean, it's, it's, it is incredible. Yeah, have you ever reenacted a jump on a croc uh, with, uh, a, with no. a black man? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. That was pretty awesome. It was the first for me, too. That was pretty awesome. I'll be honest. That was Only really good. in that was Beverly good. Hills. Yeah. You know what, I'm saying? Uh, what has been some of the most, I mean, this, the, the land, we were, we were talking backstage, the land is incredible. Um, this reserve, uh, uh, Australia Zoo, the growth that you've seen over the years. What has been something for you, Terry, that has just been if there, if there is, and I know this is a kind of a difficult question to, to answer, but if there is one moment, looking back over all of these years, that was kind of the moment for you at the zoo, what would it be? Oh, wow, a the moment moment. Yeah, um, where you knew that this was something, this was something you were gonna be dedicating your life sure. to. Sure, I know before Steve and I had kids, when we hadn't been married very long, Steve used to kind of test me. So he was a little worried about you know, the whole relationship thing. And because I was 27 and he was 30 when we got married. Uh -huh. So he was like, you know, is this the real deal? And so he'd say to me, so if something happened to me and like 
I lost my arm. Would you still love me? <laughs> yeah, when, when is this gonna happen? Right. So, what are we planning here? Exactly. But he always asked me these really weird questions. And one time he came up to me and he said, um, if anything happened to me, would you keep this going? And, and I thought, you know, if that's kind of comforting to you, sh sure, but of course I would do everything I could to keep everything we've worked for and strive for continuing. But you have to remember when we first married, Australia Zoo was a tiny little Queensland reptile and fauna park. Yeah. Our petting zoo today is bigger than our whole zoo was then. I mean, we're talking like the difference between two acres, yeah. or about, roundabout, yeah. and yeah. now over 700. Right, mm. yeah, very good. And Wow. Yeah. 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 Look at what I was saying, wildlife warrior yeah. right here. He knows how to stop. You know it. Yeah. Sure. So at, when I first um, came to the zoo and met Steve, I did literally meet both the staff. <laughs> and. <laughs> And so making that promise was not as challenging. So right. I, um, mm. I said, yeah, sure, I'll be happy to keep things going. And, and then um, we started filming with Animal Planet and things started growing. And like you say, now everything's so much bigger and we've got 440 staff and it's just a big enterprise with projects around the world. And That's I, you know, I would have said the same thing no matter what, but it was infinitely less daunting. So for me, <laughs> that was kind of a turning point for him to say, I want to make sure all of this outlives me. May I yeah. just may I just add on to that? Because mom is is so amazing, mm -hmm. but but she is truly the most incredible woman I have ever known in my entire life. Honestly. Yeah. say this, mom is like Sarah Connor. You look at Sarah Connor and you go, wow, she is gorgeous. And then you watch what she can do. Yeah, like, and she does some pull-ups. Oh, like, yeah. Wow. That is mom. Honestly, you should see this girl jumping on crocodiles. It's incredible. But truly, she she is, she's like Wonder Woman. And, and through it all, I mean, since I can remember, she has always been there for us as a family. So she's there running Australia Zoo with over 400 staff, taking care of everything at Wildlife Warriors, which is our non-profit organization. Mm -hmm. We have conservation projects all over the planet, from helping tigers in Sumatra to rhinos in Kenya. And she does this all so effortlessly. And then at the end of the day, she is there for me and Robert, no matter what, for a hug, for a piece of advice, to encourage us to follow our dreams as well. And what an incredible woman, as a businesswoman, mm -hmm. as a mentor, and as a mother, she is such an inspiration. I hope I am half the woman she is when I grow up. Truly. <laughs> Here in the States, yeah. we call your mom a boss. Yes! <laughs> that is the Thank right you. word. So you can take oh, that back sure. to Australia. <laughs> Definitely the boss. Boss. Uh, I love it.